What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys the W command. Now, as I stated in the intro of the video, I wanted to show you guys the W command. And basically this is a command line utility that shows information about currently logged in users. And this is a very simple command. This will be a super short video. And mainly the reason I wanna show this command is because I seen it in some training documentation for one of the Linux certifications as a command you should at least know or be familiar with. And so I, would th I thought I would cover it right fast so you guys can get an understanding of how to actually use it. So let's go on and get started with that. Okay, cool. So I'll be doing this demonstration on my main system but i'll also connect to my ssh server so i can show you this command how it looks on a remote host as well but the first thing i want to do is go to the man page just to read a little bit about how the command is actually used so let's type man and then w press enter and that'll bring up the man page and then here we go the name it states you know w show who is logged on and what they are doing and here's the synopsis you have w the options and then you can throw the user in there at the end of it and let's read the description it says w displays information about the users currently on the machine and their processes the header shows in this order the current time how long the system has been running how many users are currently logged on and the system load average for for the past one five 15 minutes and we go to the next paragraph it states that the following entries are displayed for each user so it shows the login name the tty name the remote host the login time the idle time the jcpu and the pcpu and the command line of their current process the jcpu time is the time used by all processes attached to the tty it does not include past background jobs but does include currently running background jobs and then the p cpu time is the time used by the current process named in the wet field so that's a very simple explanation of how the command works like i said it's a very simple command here are some of the options down below you can specify like the like no header uh there's the short option, the from option, and IP addresses, version, old style. But let me, let me go down and quit this right fast and go through a couple of those options. But first, let me go down and just show you the W command by itself without putting any options on it. So let's type W and press enter. And this is basically what it shows when you run the command. And as you can see, it gives you a good amount of information like it's stated in the man page. Uh, and just to break it all out for you, like it already stated in the man page, but I just want to break it out for you again while it's up on the screen. But basically what this is, is the current time, the uptime of the system, the amount of users that are on there, and then the load times based on those numbers that were specified in the man page, which is one minute, five minutes and then 15 minutes and that's the system load time or the load average and then if we go down to the next column or the next section this is where all the columns are that they were talking about in the man page so you have your user you have your tty you have your login and basically this is the time when the user actually logged in and then the idle time and then the jcpu and the pcpu and what and currently i'm just running xfce 4 session uh under tty7 and then my user account so this is very simple to understand but let's go on and run a couple other commands or a couple of options right fast and one of the options i want to show you guys is the dash h option and this will basically remove the header because in some cases you don't want to see that header uh and especially if it's like a lot of uh users uh the header won't really matter especially if it's like let's say it's like 50 users it's gonna list them all out and the header will be way at the top 
So once you start using this command and really understanding it and understand the columns, then you'll get it. You know what I'm saying? You'll know what's in each column. So you may not need the header. So let's run that right fast by typing W and then dash H so you guys can see it. But basically that's it. And then also gets rid of the top line, uh, which you don't need to see it just list out all the users. So that could be used in a script in some way just to pull all the current users that are on at the time and you may want to store that in some type of log just to track certain things even though it's tracked you know authentication is tracked and all that stuff but let's say it's a, a low to average that's like super super high and you want to narrow down who's actually running what during a specific time then this is a great way to find that information out so that's another reason you may want to actually use this command now let me go down and show you guys another option and it's uh the dash f which is fine uh from so let's type that in right fast so let's go w dash f and this is one of the ones i, I will show you on my remote server uh because it shows a little bit different this actual option shows different depending on the distribution like for instance my host computer or the computer i'm on right now the terminal that i'm in this is arch linux so it'll show a little bit different and let's uh run that now so you guys can see but let's press f but it basically adds another column in there it's the from column and basically what this is supposed to show is the host name of the person that's actually logged into. So like, like let's say you're logged into a server SSH, then it'll show the host name of your computer. That's what it's supposed to do. It, it doesn't work 100% of the time, uh, depending on the distribution, like certain distributions, it won't pull that host name. It'll pull the IP instead of the host name. So, and I'll show you guys that when I get on my server, but by typing dash F, it will, uh, add that column because certain like I said certain certain distributions won't have that column by default like we just seen right here when we first ran it without the dash F it didn't have the from column but some distributions have it on by default so when you type W the from column will actually be there now the next uh, option I wanted to show you guys is the actual S option so let's run that now so you guys can see the difference but w dash s and just to explain before i run it it'll remove the uh pcpu and the jcpu columns from the actual list so let's press enter you may need to only see the user the tty and the idle and the what that kind of simplifies it and makes it short you know that's that's basically what that option does it removes those two columns and actually three columns because it doesn't show the login uh at column right here uh so right here this column right here this is actually not there as well so that's removed as well but that's pretty much it on that option and the overall options that I wanted to show you guys on my system but now let's SSH into my server so I can show you how the command looks on a Debian based system. So I'll be right back with that. Okay, cool. So I'm logged into my server on my network and this is my production server, but I just wanted to show you guys what it actually looks like when we run the W command on this command on this server. So let's just run it without any options and just to show you the difference, but W and as you can see, it goes that on and pulls in that from column. Like for instance, when it was on my Orch system, it didn't show it like I stated earlier, but it actually shows it here. So, and the whole purpose of it is to show you where that person is connected from. So super cool way of uh, getting the IP addresses. Like let's say somebody's remote in from, you know, across the US. And actually I had my homeboy connected to my server not that long ago. So I'm re-recording re this part of the video because I didn't want to show his IP address because it pulls in his personal IP, it pulled in his personal IP or his home IP address. And I didn't want you guys to see that. So I just told him to log out so I could finish recording and it will actually show though that IP address. So if somebody's logged into your server, which, you know, obviously 
you're only going to give access to who you want to have that access to your server so it doesn't matter about the ip address but let's say it's for business saying you're trying to narrow down who's all connected uh you let's say you coming in and taking over the network and you're trying to figure out who has access to a specific server so you can lock things down well it's a good way to you know find out that information so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any questions leave comments down in the comment boxes below and also if this is your first time here go down and hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel i'm trying to keep continue putting out videos daily so you guys can get some great linux content or the best linux content that i can provide and i definitely appreciate you guys coming through and of course keep it techie